In this demonstration, you'll take an existing parametric analysis of a 3D mixing tank and extend it to include the effects of parameterizing and morphing the mesh within the ANSYS Fluent environment. Review the previous video for details on how to set up and solve a parametric analysis in Fluent. In this video, we'll define the mesh morphing process so that we can show how the mesh can be deformed to further enhance the original parametric analysis. Mesh morphing allows for geometry changes without having to revisit the CAD geometry or repeat the meshing process. We'll start Fluent in 3D with four processors. In the Open Fluent session, we'll read in an existing mixing tank case and data file that already contains the parametric settings. The original mixing tank model had a single wall boundary. To better demonstrate the mesh morphing process, this single boundary needs to be separated into multiple walls. Some of these new walls will be fixed, while others will be translating or deforming walls. The process of separating the single wall into six boundaries will not be needed if the boundaries were already defined as separate boundaries through named selection. Separate the single wall boundary using a value of 45 degrees. Before you separate the faces, it's always a good idea to create a report, just to be sure. The report shows that the single wall boundary will be separated into six zones. In this case, wall boundaries have been assigned meaningful names so that they can be easily identified when defining mesh morphing constraints. We'll define the mesh morphing region by specifying the region extents. In the Parameterize and Explorer dialog box, in the Region tab, we'll specify the minimum and maximum values for the region in the X, Y, and Z coordinates, and we'll review the region definition in the Graphics window. Next, in the Design Conditions tab, we'll define a fixed wall constraint on these surfaces. Next, we'll define a translation constraint. Translation values in the three Cartesian directions will be defined as input parameters. It is always recommended to start from zero as a baseline. You should always preview the expected mesh morphing. We will now rerun the parametric analysis with the new input parameters to generate a parametric report and look at the results. We can review the changes to the project and generate an HTML simulation report that includes a mesh comparison and review the mesh morphing process. This concludes this demonstration combining mesh morphing into a parametric study in ANSYS Fluent.